Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys the Crisis 3 graphics settings on PC, uh, especially with the recent Dead Space 3 debacle and the worry about what uh, options are going to be available for, available for PC games. Uh, I thought I would show you guys what's going on in Crisis 3. So, as you can see, I'm playing in 2560 by 1440. All of your different resolutions are supported. You can do full screen, yes, no. Uh, you don't have a borderless window option, unfortunately. I know a lot of people do want that. In terms of anti-aliasing, you've got all sorts of different things you can go with. Um, there's a lot of debate on which one's the best, but, I mean, you can... I can pretty much max it out on my computer, so I'm gonna go with the best I can. Texture resolution, very high. V-Sync, I'll keep that on because I am able to go, uh, at a higher V-Sync. And system spec, I will go very high. So I think before they used to be ultra, maximum, things like that. So let's apply this. Next, we'll go into the graphics. You've got low, medium, high, and very high for all of these, all the same. For anisotropic filtering, you've got one through 16 times. Motion blur amount, I like to keep that low because it can be pretty distracting. Lens flares, yes, because they look great. And then you've got your brightness. Nothing special there. You've got a safe area, which is cool because I know a lot of people actually want to adjust where their image fits on their screen, so it's cool that they included that, for sure. You've also got 3D options if you have a 3D-capable graphics card, so that's cool. I do not have that set up right now, so I'm not going to be doing it. And then you've got your controls, your game, and your sound options, so nothing special in there, but you know, at the end of the day, I think this should all be pretty good. There's nothing that you're going to need in addition to this. It would be nice if they give you a little bit of a description as to what this actually did. Like it says, change the shading quality. Okay, well, that's cool. But it would be nice to give a little bit of a, a description. Anyways, that's it. I just thought I would share that with you guys. And uh, hope you enjoy Crisis 3. See ya.